everyone and happy vlogmas i can't believe we are already here again it feels like 2023 has just flown by now it has pretty much flown by for doyle and i because we had quite a busy year <laughs> mainly we got married this year that was back in october and it was absolutely wonderful um, and here on my YouTube channel, I did a series called My Knitted Wedding, where I shared all kinds of videos about me preparing for our wedding and the knitted items that I was making for our wedding, along with some other special videos. So uh, if you enjoy that series, thank you so much. I'm really glad you liked it. And I did recently release a podcast episode, sort of changing my normal podcast style. Um, and I am very pleased that you all liked that as well. And here we are for Vlogmas. Um, feels kind of strange to be recording this already. It doesn't feel like we're into Vlogmas territory yet, but we are. <laughs> Um, I am recording a little early just because I do a different style of Vlogmas than most people do, which I'm going to talk to you about right now. If you were with me last year, thank you so much for coming back. I'm really glad you're still here. Um, and if you were a viewer last year, you know that I did weekly Vlogmas episodes, which I'm going to be doing again this year because I found that that really helped me keep on top of vlogmas but also create enough content for you to enjoy watching however i'm gonna try my best this year to sort of <laughs> bring the the content length down a bit because some of my vlogmas videos last year got kind of long <laughs> um i'm aiming to make them between 30 and 40 minutes um Let's see if I can stick to that. <laughs> but of course, um, it all depends on what we're doing and if we, you know, have anything going on and what I have to share with you. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to do what I think feels right and what I think is going to create good content and I really hope you enjoy it and I hope you come along for the ride. Um, I was looking at my stats a little while ago and there is an extra 1.3 thousand of you now which is really exciting um, and I'm very excited to be sharing my day-to-day -day with an extra 1.3 thousand of you. Um, so you will have seen in the little clip that I just shared a little bit of my daily life and a little bit of my work. For those of you who are new here, I work as a library technician. I love my job. I have been doing it for seven years, no, eight years, I think. Um, I've been working as a library technician for eight years, but I've been working in my current job. It'll be five years in April and I really love the work that I do. I love the people that I work with. I love the library that I get to work in. Although I don't usually get to work in this part of our library. I usually work in an office that's more gray and boring. <laughs> but I happen to be covering the reference desk today. And that means that I'm in the pretty version of the library, which of course I will include some footage of because it's absolutely stunning because it's in a heritage building. Um, the building itself is about 200 years old, but our library dates back about 140 years, 150 years. So it is still a very beautiful old library and it is chock full of information. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me tell you a little bit about how Vlogmas is going to go this year. And I'm hearing right now that there's trucks outside so I do apologize for the background noise that you're hearing it's just something that I have to apologize for in all of my videos um, but I forgot that the road right next to my library is a main road for 18 wheeler trucks so they're pretty loud this year for vlogmas I'm going to be doing weekly episodes again and those are going to be coming out on Fridays in December. So they will come out on Friday, December 1st, December 8th, December 15th, and December 22nd. So those will be my Vlogmas dates this year. And of course, right now you are watching Friday, December 1st, which is the first 
vlogmas episode <laughs> it'll also be a day that a lot of daily vlogmas episodes come out so um i know that there's gonna be a lot today and i really appreciate you coming and spending a little bit of time with me and checking out my vlogmas so we don't have a ton of things planned for um the holidays this year we're kind of like going with the flow it was a lot doing the wedding and everything and I think both Doyle and I are a little exhausted and worn out from doing a lot of event stuff and a lot of you know like family time and hanging out with a lot of friends that we're visiting and I think we just want to take things very quiet this year very slow um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be showing you other than um, just a little a little here and a little there. <laughs> so these might be more relaxed videos than I had last year. Last year we really made a point to do a lot of events and a lot of social things to show you and everything and I think this year we're gonna try and do um, a little something different like other different things that we didn't show last year but also um, maybe a little bit of the same because there's some things that we really enjoy doing. But like I did last year, I'm going to be starting off Vlogmas by showing you a little bit of my daily life, which you will have seen a little bit of so far, but I'm going to show some more um, in the upcoming segments of this vlog. Um, I've been recording for about seven minutes already, so off to a great start with controlling the time, huh? <laughs> But I just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction to me and to um, my life and everything. And let's get Vlogmas started. <laughs>
Hi everyone, I am here with another little chatty segment. I hope you enjoyed the little montage that I just included of our visit to Mahone Bay to see the Father Christmas Festival. This is something that we do every year and we really, really enjoy it. It's really lovely. It was a beautiful sunny day and although it was a little cold, if you were in the sun, it was quite warm. So Doyle and I were actually eating our lunch outside, which was really lovely and something that I never expected to do at the end of November, beginning of December, but there we were eating our lunch outside and it was really nice. <laughs> Although we probably should have gotten some warm drinks so that we were a little more cozy because once our food was done and we just had the cold drinks left, it wasn't long before we put our coats back on and got a little cozier. Here comes Rue. Hi Rue. Oh, and Bennett. I've got all the animals visiting me today. Anyway, I wanted to come on and do a little chai segment now because I would like to share with you a brand new finished object. And this is a finished object that I have not shown at all because it is a gift knit. So I haven't posted it on Instagram. I haven't shared it in a story. It hasn't been in a YouTube podcast, nothing. So you will all be the first to see this. And I don't think the mom watches my videos, but just in case, Camille, if you're watching this video, first of all, thank you. <laughs> Second of all, please stop right now and don't watch the next segment because I'm about to share what I have knitted for the little baby. Um, so our friends, Alex and Camille, are expecting their first child and they are big D&D fans. Camille is what we call a forever DM because she always DMs. She prefers that rather than playing. And uh, we're not in their their game, but uh, I'm actually a very, very, very brand new d and -er. I've only played one game. <laughs> not quite sure if I really like it yet, if it's really my thing, um, but I know a lot of people love it. Doyle, of course, loves it. That's how I got into it a bit. Um, but I do know a thing or two about D&D &D and different things. Um, but because Alex, the dad, usually plays as a particular type of character, I'm not sure if it's the class or if it's something, some other term, um, but he usually plays as a paladin. If you have seen the D&D &D movie, which was awesome, absolutely loved it, even as a non d and -er, I friggin' loved that movie. It was so funny. It was a really, really good time. Um, the character played by Regé Jean Page, he is a paladin. So that style of character is what the dad plays. So I decided to create my own color work pattern using the paladin symbol, which is a helmet with wings coming out of the sides. So my first plan for this sweater was to do something wild and crazy and just do all kinds of like color work symbols, kind of like um, uh, Bad Wolf Girl Studios, the designer behind my Astraea sweater. She does some amazing color work sweaters that have all kinds of motifs through them. But I learned pretty quickly that that was not gonna work for a little baby sweater because it is small. Um, and also I was using DK slash worsted sized yarn. So I didn't really have a lot of room to play with, but I am very, very happy with the result. Here is my paladin sweater. Isn't it so cute? I am so happy with this sweater and it looks so good on camera. You can really tell what the symbols are. You can see exactly what they're meant to be. So of course I did swords going across the top here. And then when I had a bit more um, higher stitch counts, I was able to do the helmets with the wings here. And these little symbols in between are not centered because that's where my um, repeat round end was so I had to do some increases right in the middle so I wasn't able to put the emblem right in the middle so it's I just have to live with it it's a baby sweater come on Whitney just leave it leave it let it be <laughs> but I actually came up with this color pattern myself I did follow loosely a sweater pattern 
I followed, um, I think it's called the UFO Yoke Sweater by Yarnspirations, or maybe it's Patents. Um, anyway, that is a free pattern. So I took the stitch counts from that pattern and the um, instructions for like the sleeves and the body and everything. And all I did was I took their color work chart and I kind of um, took the numbers and the angles of that chart and plopped that into Excel. And I just color coded it until I got the design that I was happy with. Um, that's what I made and I'm so happy with it. Um, I made the 12 month size, so it is kind of large for a baby, um, but especially because baby grow so fast, I did not want to make something that the baby can only wear once and then never again because they grew out of it. So it's going to be a little big on the baby for the first while, but then hopefully they'll get a lot of wear out of it. And I really hope the parents like it. I will find out in time to tell you about it in my next Vlogmas video. But yeah, I just thought I would share that with you. I was so happy with that and it turned out beautiful. The yarn that I used was um, for the, this, what looks like it could be navy, but it also looks like it could be like purple. It is a color from Knit Picks. It is Swish Worsted, which is a 100% superwash wool. And the color name is called Mimic. And I chose the color just because I thought it was a really cool color. It's, you know, especially in person, it's kind of hard to tell if it's navy or if it's purple. But also, a Mimic is a monster in D&D. &D. So it was another D&D &D connection. Um, so a Mimic is a treasure chest that when you go to open it, it's actually a monster and it tries to eat you. Um, so I thought it was kind of funny. And the color work yarn, the second color, uh, which is this beautiful, almost fire color, is from a local brand to me called Nerds with Needles. They are such a fun company because all of their yarns are nerdy themed. And this one was called Phoenix. Now it is actually one of their, um, their Harry Potter inspired colors. But it's also, like a phoenix is also another creature that you can encounter in D&D. So um, I'm just kind of ignoring the Harry Potter connection and just looking at it as a D&D color. So that's, this is a full D&D sweater. <laughs> I am super happy with both of those yarns. They both ended up really nicely. Uh, I will, of course, talk more about this in my next podcast episode. But of course, I'm not going to have a podcast episode until the new year because... I'm too busy with Vlogmas to do a podcast in the same time frame, so that won't be happening. But yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. I also wanted to share with you a couple advent calendars that I have to open this year. Now, this video is gonna be going live on December 1st, so I won't have opened anything by the time when I release this video. I won't have opened anything on my advent calendar yet, um, but I will have opened something in the second video. So. First, my mom always gets Doyle and I chocolate advent calendars. Uh, she usually gets us the lint ones, which are so good. But a couple weeks ago, Doyle and I were in Ikea and we noticed that they have a chocolate advent calendar. And the reason we decided to get them, even though we know we're already going to have a chocolate advent calendar, is because they're all truffles. And they looked so delicious. So... They weren't expensive either. I think maybe they were like eight or nine dollars, maybe ten dollars. Like they were really affordable. So we decided that we would just have two chocolate advent calendars this year. I also got a yarn advent calendar. Now I found with doing the daily advent calendar last year, it was just too much and it really made my videos quite long. So I found a different advent calendar this year and this is actually what made me want to buy an advent calendar this year because I didn't really plan on getting one and I kind of didn't want to open another 24 mini skeins that I would then have to try and find a way to use and I have no idea how I want to use. So when this one popped up on Instagram, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I chose to get the In The Stacks New Year's Calendar done by Teeny Button Studios, otherwise known as Robin. 
And this one is a weekly advent calendar that you open every Sunday leading up to the new year. So you have these four little half skeins and then one big skein to open on New Year's Eve. And the reason it is a weekly calendar instead of uh, a daily advent calendar is because, and leading up to the new year rather than Christmas, is because Robin is Jewish. So she doesn't celebrate Christmas. So she decided to do an advent calendar that worked for her. And I'm really excited to open this one because the inspiration photos, which I'll put one right here so you can see, are absolutely gorgeous. Now you all know I love to read. I work as a library technician. I work in a historical library like this is right up my alley. So when I saw that and I saw that it was a weekly advent calendar and that if I ordered the fingering weight version, which is what I did, I would get enough that I could make a sweater. Now it's going to be a very small crop sweater or something like that. Like it's not going to be like big full sweater, um, but I can make a sweater out of this quantity of yarn. And I forget if Robin said if it was fade or not, um, but she did say that the colors would go well together if you wanted to use them in one project. So I'm very excited to start opening these. I will not be opening one before this video goes out um, because my first Vlogmas video, this one, goes out on Friday, December 1st, and I don't get to open one until Sunday after that. So I think it's Sunday, December, third. Yes. <laughs> so I will be opening one in the following video. So I don't think I'm gonna have all of them to open during Vlogmas just because at least the last one is done on um, on New Year's Eve. So I might do a short little video on New Year, like after New Year's Eve on New Year's Day or something just to kind of show you those last two that you won't have seen in Vlogmas if you are interested. So that is the yarn advent calendar that I got this year. <laughs> now um, I have to get going. I've been sitting here talking for longer than I expected because I screwed up what I wanted to say a few times. Um, but Doyle and I are off to go to my parents for dinner tonight. So we're gonna have a lovely time there. Um, and you'll just see some of my Sunday chores today. I had some stuff I needed to do today. <laughs> I will chat with you all soon. Bye.